Namaskar from l 2 Citadel Technologies. So, we're going to look at something that might be of use to quite a few of you, if not many of you. And uh, before I get into it, there's already some really fabulous work done by the Koha community, especially uh, my colleagues and friends over at Bywater Solutions. And uh, okay, may, uh, more on that later. But to come to the point of this video here, uh, we'll soon make a blog post with all the details of this so that those of you who prefer to read rather than watch a video will uh, be able to do that quite soon enough. Now, Koha has some fantastic reporting capabilities using its SQL reports. However, one of the uh, features that people tend to miss uh, with Koha is being able to uh, punch in a batch of numbers could be like accession numbers, card numbers, BPO numbers, item numbers, whatnot, um, diff different stuff into a text area input box and then have the report look up on those multiple values that we want the report to be filtered on. It's been something people have been uh, discussing, asking others, each other, is there something we can use to do that? The straightforward answer is no, not entirely out of the box, not with just vanilla Koha. Um, somebody has to write something like that. Now, about four years back, as I was mentioning before, uh, Indeed, somebody did write something like that, and that's called as a wonderful uh, Koha plugin. Koha plugins, as you know, are custom Perl functionality which lets uh, let us extend Koha uh, without directly delving into the absolute guts of uh, the Koha source tree. Uh, so the, the plugin is called Reports Plus plugin. And uh, there's a nice video made by uh, Jesse and Kelly, both uh, of who are with Biowaters, uh, Biowater Solution. And this is the GitHub. Yeah, this is the GitHub URL. It's been there for some time now. And as you can see, it has so far four contributor there is Nick, there is Kyle, there is, uh, there is Nicole and there is Jonathan. So four of them. Primarily uh, Nick is who who started with, started running with the ball on this one and I think others contributed back in with patches and fixes. So it's a very interesting uh, plugin does a lot of things but Unfortunately, in the Indian subcontinent, uh, uh, subcontinent scenario, um, because we are of our library partners are often forced to work with less than well-trained uh, staff or people who are originally have nothing to do with libraries are deputed to work in li at, at the li at the library desks. So sometimes to ensure that people uh, do not even accidentally create a mess because after all to err is human so can blame somebody who doesn't know the ins and outs of something very often uh, trainees interns temporary staff or the staff who are not trained in library science who doesn't have a library science degree they're often given very minimal permissions also the way the um, plugin has to be used uh, 
from the feedback that I got from people is slightly confusing. It shouldn't be. To me, it was very simple. But somehow, a lot of people have been have been talking to says no, this is uh, uh, complicated. Coffee complicated. Hey, so confused. Ho rahe hum. We're getting confused, and so on. Well, to each their own. So anyway, there was a demand that something uh, easier is uh, it be developed. So, since once again I couldn't sleep with too many things going on, I decided to sit down and address this problem. Uh, incidentally, the staff client that you see belongs to Ram Krishna Mission Residential College, Narendrapur. Shukchad Shah, Shukchad Hazra. I think I I got Shukchad's name right here. Who's a librarian there? He asked for something exactly like this. So he wanted to look up. Um, he wanted to be able to type in a batch of uh, accession numbers, and uh, from there be able to you know see uh, whatever is the data for those accession numbers. That's something we couldn't do. So for example, one, two, three, four is an accession number. So we could just type it in, and we would. Get something like this. So what happened was that we are using a regular expression match. If you show the SQL code, a SQL code here. The real work is here. Okay. Now, by doing that, it matched with against anything that had one, two, three, four. And that's not that's not what we are looking for. And uh, we can't also add multiple options. Like, how do we do? Um, can I do a one, two, three, four, comma, or space, or some, or pipe, and then say two, three, four, something like two different numbers, and try to run a report? That again ain't going to work like the way we thought. Okay. So here I thought that why not we do something and uh, came up with a bit of very, as you can see, just a very few lines of jQuery JavaScript and in, uh, internet users and save it. So this is the basic function and this is a support function. I'll explain to you all what exactly it does let's run this report again so what I did in this tab is basically nothing but to enable them I commented it out so that we could see the de facto functionality now here it becomes a text box we can add so we can say one two three four we can say one one two three four we might just end up by mistake uh, giving a few blank lines maybe some with space then we type something like two three four six whatever something or the other and run the report so we get an absolute match and of course we can now download it do whatever we want right so we can do that and so just to explain how this thing really works this is the basic I'll try to zoom it in a bit more so that it uh, should be a little more easier to see the blog uh, blog in details about this so what we're doing here is that this code can be attached uh, by to any SQL reports any SQL report you don't have to go report by report. We're de they're defining a JavaScript uh, key value uh, pair array. This is nothing but the report ID. Where do we say this? Here, report ID 25. So report ID 25 and which is the SQL parameter. Now for 25, it is SQL by SQL parameter. That's the first SQL parameter we are going to go after. And report 26 is the second SQL parameter, not the first one. So we can just create a key value for each uh, report 
we just have to have its report id number and the sql parameter we want to make it into a text box from an input box okay and uh, that's what we do and here is the regular expression builder so we basically take the value from the users and push it back out now as i said that this gave us this similarly let's see what happens when we look at the other okay let us go to custom reports uh, yeah look up a list of patron look up a list of patrons so yeah shukchat hasra thank goodness got his name right almost got it wrong there so uh, I want to see a few details about people who are in the library and they I know they have um, card numbers like lip uh, lip 2 uh, I want I want to see for lib 4 I want to see for lib 6 so three people if this card numbers exist I want to see their report nothing much name first name date of join all that so here is our report so basically in this case let's run this report again this is the second parameter this is the second parameter whereas in the other case it was the first parameter so using this array we can dynamically tell them that, that look for this one go after this for this one go after that one so you don't need to replicate this code for every report that you want to write uh, want to work on and just once just define them add uh, new reports where you want want this modification remove something where you do not want this functionality and that's basically your job is done don't have to do much so once again, I must say that uh, this Reports Plus plugin is a wonderful piece of uh, software, is a wonderful, a wonderful piece of effort, uh, and I strongly recommend it for the more technically savvy users or where we do not need to lock down the stuff client as much as we often have to do in the Indian context for uh, uh, more cas casual workers, casual stuff. So. If you can use it nothing like it but if you can't and you want something to get the job done this could be yours uh, we'll soon put up the code so that all of you want to take advantage of it and simply copy copy and paste it into your systems you should be able to do it so that's about it thanks for watching and have a have a good weekend bye for now